Joe Biden actually on May 31st proclaimed Black Music Month uh, as well. And in addition to that, he's commissioned a committee for arts and humanities um, mm -hmm. of which uh, many executives sit on the board. One representative uh, happens to be really important this evening uh, from the Americans for the Arts um, who goes, goes on is quoting our, our, excuse me, quoting, I just got this quote five seconds ago and I was trying to incorporate it. We we're very excited about it. Um, he, he shared a quote regarding the movie that I wanted to read out loud to you guys. I thought it was very important. Uh, so the president and CEO of Americans for the Arts, Nolan Bivens says, rock and roll is America's music. <laughs> Preserving and telling the stories of these artists, especially those that aren't widely known, is so important to our understanding of how our music evolved to where it is today. I commend Kenny Vance and his mission to shine a light on these musicians and their place in American history. Let's do it. Really important. You know, I think, I think that's a perfect segue to what we're about to embark on, this journey on the story of these untold heroes and unsung heroes of the culture. Um, you know, my generation and generations before me and even before that have been impacted by the doo-wop era and the movies, the music from the 50s and the 60s. And so many of these amazing artists have not had the opportunity to have their stories told in a deep and meaningful way. And what we're about to see tonight is going to change that. So I'm very, very excited that we're here. To kick off the night um, and to remind us how youth has the power to shape the world, let's give it up for pioneering hip hop artist, uh, excuse me, and legend, Christopher Chris Reed from Kid and Play. <laughs> Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? All right, give it up for Erica right there. She's smooth, right? She can whip it out in me. I got this quote. I just want to get it up in here, okay? Last minute. It's great to be here. This is going to be a great night. Um, my name is Christopher Reed. Uh, you may know me as Kid. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Smattering. Smattering of applause. Thank you. You may know me from movies such as House Party. Yes. Uh, House Party 2. <laughs> and in an amazing display of thespian risk, House Party 3. <laughs> the public demanded it. Well, it's not about a house party tonight. It's about heart and soul tonight. This is a labor of love by a gentleman I had the pleasure to meet a couple of nights ago, Mr. Kenny Vance. And uh, it's amazing. I got a chance to uh, to watch it over the last few days. And it really is amazing. And um, one of the things that really struck me was um, how many parallels the doo-wop era had with the era of hip-hop, which is my era coming up. Doo-wop, hip-hop, but it's, it's bigger than that. So many different parallels, so many ways that they, so many things they have in common. First, they were both created in New York. New York! All right, New York. New York. New York. Yeah, a little smoky right now in New York. Where y'all at? Again, smoky. New York, smoky. I'll sit on the other side. Created New York, which is the greatest place on earth for things to be created. And not only that, but it was, the foundation was built by kids from the inner city. Kids that, you know, maybe wouldn't have had, wouldn't have made it. You know, but the, the music spoke to them. There, there was passion about the music. Um, and there were crews, you know, there were, you know, there were four or five cats in the doo-wop group. Mm -hmm. Hip hop, there's four or five dudes in the group. If you, you, know, you, you know, you had, you had Jay and the Americans, you had Dion and the Belmonts, you had uh, uh, so many groups of your four and five. You had Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Yes, you did. You had the Funky Four. Mm -hmm. You know, you had different personalities that stood out in that doo-wop rock and roll era that sometimes there was a hip hop equivalent, okay? There was crazy people in that. So, you know, look, y'all had Little Richard. <laughs> y'all had Little Richard. <laughs> We got Kanye. <laughs> That's tit for tat. Right there. That's all I'm saying. 
<laughs> Little Richard don't look that crazy now, do he? Huh? <laughs> After this dude, huh? <laughs> there was love songs, the doo-wop. Beautiful, beautiful love songs, right? Only you. <laughs> right, hip-hop. Bitch better have my money. <laughs> It's a love song. <laughs> you know that? There's parallels. Parallels. Okay? Beautiful thing. And having a chance to meet Kenny. Kenny is something else, man. He's a walking encyclopedia. He's like a human Google. <laughs> Ask him anything about anything. He'll remember it. It's 1956, <laughs> the Capitol Theater, Wichita, <laughs> like it was yesterday. It was incredible, but there's